Hey guys, it's Radar VoiceOverGuy.com. A uh, really quick tutorial, and this time I promise it'll be quick. Uh, we uh, just had a successful 20 minute tutorial we just launched, and we're going to do a real quick one. We've got a few emails uh, that were voted on at uh, my YouTube channel. So if you go to uh, youtube.com slash user slash C H E F R S K I, that is our VoiceOverGuy.com, uh, and you'll have that link below in the description. What we're going to talk about today is panning. We referred to it um, or mentioned it in the last tutorial. It didn't go in depth about it, so I want to really quick uh, go into a couple options here. Uh, I've had requests from folks that are doing hypnosis, audio, uh, DJs looking for kind of swirling effects, uh, also uh, anybody doing kind of uh, uh, movie uh, trailer work or actually uh, music for video. Uh, where they want to have the kind of sound surround and follow them, not just to be in one spot. And I think it's real important what happens is when you have the audio playing and you can hear it bounce from left to right or if you're in a surround sound kind of theatrical setting uh, and you can hear that music behind you and in front of you, there's movement, it creates drama, uh, it creates interest. So I think any time you do something a little bit different than uh, the norm that's out there, it makes your project just that much more effective. So we're going to do it with two things. We're going to do it, one, with a uh, music composition, real quick, so you can hear the music, how it kind of flows up and down. Then we'll look at it for uh, vocals or for a voiceover or for you know just the, the spoken word and how you can change that. And we'll do that quickly by the automation tool here. And then we'll also look at some of our uh, presets in Adobe Audition 3.0. So here's the first part of the audio you're going to hear. I'll just play a quick bit of that for you. And then some of the audio. All right, this is the audio version or the vocal piece for panning. When you hear me talk, you should be able to hear my voice going from... Okay, so those are the two pieces we're going to do real quick. Now, what I'm going to do at the end of this tutorial, I will go ahead and play this from start to be, uh, from uh, beginning to the end, and it'll be about a minute time. So what I'll do is I'll actually mix this down, and I'll add this audio in there so you can hear it, because when I'm playing this here, you're going to pick up what's on my speaker, so hopefully you'll be able to hear the little shift from left to right, but to really truly hear the finished piece, you have to wait till the end and play this. So we're going to go ahead and start really quick. Uh, if you open up or expand your track here, usually, you know, if you have it uh, set up like this, all you have to do, if you have a wheel on your mouse, um, just go ahead and open this up just so you can get uh, a decent piece here where you can get the read track here, your automation mode. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to expand that here, open this up here, and you have volume setting as a default here. So once you click on that, you can automate your your muting, uh, pan, uh, EQ, and whatever your EQ bands you'd like, uh, your effects, uh, your input gain, uh, gain amount. Uh, what we're going to work on today is the pan and the output pan. So now that we have that selected, the line turns orange or brown, whatever you're seeing right now at this time. And what we're going to do simply is just add some automation points in here, which is just um, uh, by simply clicking right here. Let me open this up a little bit so you can see it. And there we go. We're going to automate it. And we're just going to click every so often here and here and here and here. And obviously, you're not going to do this um, unless you're you know, making some kind of crazy drop or uh, crazy piece of your music, but this is just to give you an idea um, of what this is going to sound like. Um, and we're almost to the end there, so let's just do it right up until here, okay? Now, with those lines there, you now let's we'll do it all the way across. Might as well. Just a few more. There we go. Now we have all those set up. So simply what you're going to do is you're going to pan down, so 100% right and left, right and left. We'll keep one here in the middle. We'll adjust this one up there, pull this one down there. We're just going to kind of oddball these from left to right. And we'll, we'll leave that one back centered there. Same thing with the vocal. We'll start here. We'll gradually move there all the way down here and we'll kind of just play in some different 
automation areas here and here and we'll finish and yeah, we'll finish right there uh, close to the middle there we go so there you can kind of see the zigzag pattern so you can see it's going to go from right to left to right to left and i'm going to go ahead and play this and hopefully you'll be able to hear a little bit of it uh, again i'll play this at the end so you can hear the full impact of this piece but here we go Hopefully you can hear it, and you'll hear it towards the end. It's a little bit more dramatic. Listen to the spoken word, and it's usually a little bit more clear, but uh, take a listen. All right, this is the audio version or the vocal piece for panning. When you hear me talk, you should be able to hear my voice going from left to right, and it should kind of be a circular sound. You should hear it kind of move if you have 5.1 surround sound speakers. You should hear this at this time moving around and this is exactly what is involved in setting a 360 pan. All right, so hopefully you heard that and again we'll do this towards uh, the end. We'll play around with that. Um, another option to do which is kind of interesting, uh, if you just move, keep this uh, as it is right now, um, we, don't, we can set another track um, in fact, we'll do that after. But if you go into your uh, effect settings, let's close that up for a second, and you click on stereo imagery. If you go to the stereo field rotate, right here, um, you have some presets uh, anywhere from 45 degrees, 90, 180, 360 uh, on both sides. Um, you can listen to your audio and kind of listen to it bounce back and forth uh, on here as well. Uh, I'll just keep it at rotate 360 and I'll play this and we'll kind of move it from side to side so you can hear. Now, um, what I like to do is I like to use the automation mode um, simply because you control every single piece. If you have a section, say, right in here, uh, you don't want to move at all, well, you just keep those at zero. Um, so here gives you complete control of it whatsoever. Now, I won't go into the 5.1 surround piece because we've done a tutorial on that. Um, and if you'd like to see that, go ahead and click on this piece right here um, after you watch this video and uh, just come back to this and click on it. It'll take you to the 5.1 surround sound part of the video. But simply that's it. I'll play this from the beginning and have you take a listen to it, what it sounds like uh, with the extreme panning of left to right, both in the music and spoken word. Uh, if you guys have any other requests or questions, uh, tutorial uh, suggestions or requests, send them to me here at uh, uh, my YouTube channel or go to www.ourvoiceoverguide.com and uh, leave them there. But uh, just go ahead and leave a comment below and favorite, and uh, we'll uh, uh, get the next tutorial out to you ASAP. Thanks, guys. All right, this is the audio version or the vocal piece for panning. When you hear me talk, you should be able to hear my voice going from left to right. And it should kind of be a circular sound. You should hear it kind of move. If you have 5.1 surround sound speakers, you should hear this at this time moving around. And this is exactly what is involved in setting a 360 pan. 